TBI says vaping is the newest emerging drug trend its agents are dealing with across the state. THC is the active ingredient that produces a high when you smoke marijuana. Local agents say they haven't had many vape pens with THC in the Knoxville Crime Lab, but expect that to increase. The TBI says it's hard to know without testing vape oils how much THC they hold. Undetected, you can't detect it with the smell. It's odorless. Uh, so it, it's becoming increasingly difficult to do to detect any of those. The crime lab currently only tests vape cartridges for illicit substances, not other chemicals that make up the oil inside. TBI agents and other law enforcement officers are learning how to distinguish between marijuana and hemp, but that detective work is tricky. The TBI calls the popularity of hemp in Tennessee an investigative nightmare. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith breaks down the challenges and the options for investigators. Shannon. John, hemp is new to the state and right now it's harvesting time. Dried hemp is transported by people with and without licenses to grow it and it looks and smells just like marijuana, which is making it hard for law enforcement to tell the difference. Until recently, when marijuana came to the TBI, there was no doubt what it was. Then people started growing hemp. Now we can't determine. We have to send it to the crime lab or at least come up with a, a better or a different type of field test to at least give us an indication that it, it, it is different. The TBI didn't have that until a couple months ago. They can now do lab tests that show the difference. It tells us about the ratio of CBD to THC that's in that plant. Uh, we get one color if there's a lot of CBD and we get another color if there's a lot of THC. If it's more CBD, it's most likely hemp. If it's more THC, it's most likely marijuana. But that doesn't help officers who see it in the field. We've run into some confusion with law enforcement officers when they encounter plant material in the field as to what it actually can be. Because marijuana and hemp look and smell the same. Even canine officers can't tell the difference. It's the same plant. A dog trained to test for marijuana cannot tell the difference between hemp and marijuana. That dog has now become useless thanks to hemp. The TBI says it's seen cases where some marijuana plants are grown in hemp fields. The TBI is working to train officers, but it's new to everyone in Tennessee. We are struggling with those training and trying to come up with each agency's protocols. They're working to develop policies that would protect legitimate hemp farmers and weed out the legal from the illegal. The TBI says it's also seen a spike in agricultural theft. People stealing hemp plants said that wasn't a problem with other crops. John Robin. Shannon Smith on the story. Thank you.